well, if these seven doctors didn't give me the answers, what do I do now? I wanted to feel what it would feel like just to be in my body, mm -hmm. like without having this depression medicine and this anxiety medicine. Hi, I'm Christine, the nervous system regulator. I teach you to reset and regulate your nervous system brain so you can live with less stress and more joy. How did you end up finding a functional medicine practitioner? I love fitness and I couldn't move. Okay. <laughs> I like researching just a little Googling and things of that nature of something called functional medicine, obviously researched it and then took a class on functional nutrition. That's how it started. I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to take this digestive class and figure out how I can fix my tummy so I can get back out there in the workout world. And that obviously opened all the doors. Truly not being able to move. I love it and feel like it's my first love now, but that's what brought me to yoga class because I, I really couldn't move. And sometimes child's pose was it. You know, so those two worlds slowly started opening up and, you know, when the doors start opening, you know, then the world of yoga therapy opened up and understanding more of started going to acupuncture. I will say I probably went to every, I don't like to call it alternative because for me now, I think it's regular medicine, but alternative medicine, you know, modalities. I went through the spectrum in order to heal, you know, whether it was acupuncture or any, any different types of Eastern traditions, things that we take for granted. Now I was able to titrate off of all my pharmaceuticals. I'm not advocating anyone to do that. Of course, this is just part of my story, but I wanted to feel what it would feel like just to be in my body without having this depression medicine and this anxiety medicine. And I was open to going back, you know, if I needed to, but I was in a space at this point that I could titrate off very slowly. And I have to say, I haven't since 2015, never gone back to me. That's just a, a gift. If you go about it, the right way. Right. And that's a testament too to how our bodies can heal itself. It's amazing how capable we are when we provide the right environment and we identify some of the root cause mechanisms that are taking our body out of homeostasis and balance. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about polyvagal theory. So first of all, what exactly is polyvagal theory? Polyvagal theory is, is an updated map of your autonomic nervous system. You know, a lot of times as practitioners, we speak about the sympathetic state and the parasympathetic state, right? Fight or flight, rest and digest. And those are states in the autonomic nervous system. But Dr. Stephen Porges, he's the doctor that discovered this theory. It goes well beyond that. What excites me as a practitioner is this theory, he discovered that there's a predictable hierarchy of how our responses occur in our autonomic nervous system. And this is extremely valuable because if somebody has trauma, if somebody has mental health challenges, I think we all can use this theory, but it now allows us to reframe and reset and shift our nervous system, just like we've learned to do that from a neuroplasticity standpoint, from our brain standpoint. So it is quite powerful to break it down even more for people that have never heard of it, I essentially use it to teach my clients to be active operators of their nervous system. So they will learn if they're in a response that doesn't serve them for whatever circumstance they're in, they have the tools and techniques and empowerment to be able to shift from that state, maybe to a different state. You know, you, it's because it's a hierarchy. You can't jump the rungs of the ladder per se, and to get them into a safer and more connected space, whether it's within their body, whether they're unsafe in their environment, or maybe even a conversation with two people if they're not feeling safe. And so it's very valuable. And the main takeaway, and this is hard for my high performers because they're so limbic system, you know, executive functioning, uh, thinking individuals, our thoughts and our beliefs, a lot of people think begin in the head and the way our clients act and the way they describe and decide what the world is, what's going on in their world every day, this actually starts in our autonomic nervous system. And to me, this is, was a huge aha when I first discovered this. So essentially what occurs is there's a state that we have a response from our autonomic nervous system that occurs. And then those messages go up from the autonomic nervous system up to the brain. And then the brain essentially creates a story to make sense of what just happened in the body. I do a lot of bottom up approaches, meaning you know, we speak 80, 20, some practitioners say 90, 10, but the body speaks up to the brain a lot more than vice versa. And so this is really important when either A, if you had layered health conditions like me, when I first started taking the protocols from my doctors, they weren't working. And unfortunately, my body, my gut, my mind, my terrain wasn't in a place. Like if I'm preparing for that Super Bowl of taking those protocols, my body was nowhere near trained to do that.
Okay. And so the polyvagal theory is one modality that's used to help me be able to create that safety within my body. So I'm then able to, you know, go through and do a layered protocol, for example. Does that make sense? Yeah. Would you say it's more like looking at the autonomic nervous system instead of like a light switch as a dimmer? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. I feel like this approach to healing is just as fundamental as say balancing our blood sugar, having restorative sleep, or making sure our gut inner workings are working well because it's all connected. I feel like the individuals that really want to perfect that behavioral change that sustainable behavioral change. In order to change your story, whatever the beliefs are, what have you that are in your brain, you first need to be able to change your state. And when I work with people on behavioral change, before we can get to that mindset shift, we have to have a behavioral shift. Before we have the behavioral shift, we have to have a state shift. And that all starts in the autonomic nervous system. It's really interesting. Once they understand the mechanisms from a physiological standpoint of how it works. There's so much more cohesiveness with our brain and our body and our heart that things begin to flow. Things begin to switch. If you want to be more connected, you can join our private community, Chronic Stress Anonymous, for the high performer and recovering perfectionist. See the link below. Remember, you are pure love. Embrace it.